coming up on this week's punt along. Rangers mean serious business under the stewardship of Stephen Gerrard. Kenny Muller's had enough at Livingston. Good Guys FC is formed with the first three members announced. Talk Sports Moose is featured on this week's U Bellend. And the usual chat about Dunfermline Athletic Football Club. Enjoy. First up we're going to talk about Rangers and the fact that they are a new animal under Steven Gerrard almost. Of course it's all early days and there's still a lot to be proven for Rangers but players like Alfredo Morelos, James Tavernier, he was always a good player but he really does seem to be showing it now and as I said by Alfredo Morelos he's putting the goals away now, got a hat-trick against Kilmarnock at the weekend and Kilmarnock is a fixture that Rangers had been struggling in last season and that's my main point with kind of Rangers and that. They're making big strides in rectifying the mistakes they've been making in these so-called banter years, as their fans like to say. I think there's just something about Rangers and Steven Gerrard and stuff, like the fact that they've got a manager that the players obviously appreciate and respect and stuff, that goes a big way in at least making a team coherent and fighting for each other and stuff, especially when the guy that is your manager was like that as a player as well. In these so-called banter years, of course, they've had terrible sign-ins, they've had terrible results and terrible managers. And with the last one, this season has all started with appointing, as I said, a respectable manager and one that people actually take a bit of credence from and don't just think he's sitting there talking shit. And like at the beginning of last season when Pedro Caixinha came in, there was a bit of buzz, but at the end of the day, he was just a bit of a donkey that had been congratulating Celtic in previous years. Hello Celtic Brothers. I would like to congratulate you for the fourth win in a row. We now move on to Kenny Miller and the fact that he's left Livingston after, what, seven games or something like that? It was basically two months. i seen him play against Aaron Athletic in the Betfred Cup and he scored the only goal of that game to get Livingston the three points that day. And not long after that I did my prediction video for the Premiership and I had Livingston to stay up in 10th I believe it was, simply down to the fact that I didn't see Kenny Miller being involved in a relegation battle. Well, now he's left Livingston and I still believe that they could stay up, but with Kenny Miller now leaving Livingston, the chances are he's going to go and join another Premiership team. So does that kind of leave it up in arms for me in terms of if he goes and joins a team like St Martin or Dundee, does that mean that they are having more chance of staying up because they've got Kenny Miller there and I don't see him in a relegation scrap. I don't know, but the rumour is that he's looking likely to sign for St Mirren or another Premiership side in the next few weeks. The whole gripe with Livingston was that they wanted him to become a full-time manager and Kenny Miller doesn't want that, he wants to still keep playing and stuff. So the 4-4-1 Kenny formation is over. I'm sure Kenny Miller will go and get a club elsewhere, but as far as Livingston go, as I said, bring by David Hopkins. As you all know, we've got Fraud FC up there, but I've decided to go down a bit of a different path as well and create a new team. You might be able to see it up there. So I, Good Guys FC, is now formed and I've got three new members to include in it. Jeremy Milner, The Moth and Crouchy. What better lineup could you have, eh? I've picked these guys mainly just because I love them and they're basically what I think football's all about. James Milner's Mr Dependable when it comes to even scoring in a game and going on to win it. I think it's now 38 games, 28 wins and 10 draws when he's actually scored a goal. So what better player to have in Good Guys FC? Peter Crouch, 200 goals now in his career and he's just a great guy. I just love him. And the Moth, what else can you say about the Moth, eh? I mean, we're ready to play him against Ayr on Saturday so if he does anything there then I might need to reconsider. He's just one of the good guys at football and he does everything right in the game. Came for the juniors and made himself a real kind of staple head of lower league Scottish football and he's just a lovable guy again. I just I loved him at Dunfermline and the type of player he is, he's just a class professional. We're now going to move on to the part of the series called <laughs> is get Scottish football back, back to, to, to where it once was. Absolutely. That's what we want to do. And what we want to do is do it in a proper, sophisticated, constructive way. I tell you what, which doesn't involve anyone calling it a pub league. Let's not choose the best game in the, in the, in the whole of the league to, 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 for you to show me this. Take me to Dundee against Hamilton, and then we'll walk away and I'll go, yeah, right, I could have gone and watched Concord Rangers. But, but you, 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 I've heard enough of them already. Moose on TalkSport. 
Talksport seems to have a few right bell ends in their lineup really. Jim White, he's obviously had his say in recent weeks on when Adam Rooney left Aberdeen. I covered it on Punt It Long as well and he was actually in New Bellend. He's actually sticking up for Scottish football here which I find quite good but at the end of the day why did he bother tweeting out slagging off Scottish football in a way? It's kind of contradicting himself or being a bit of a hypocrite but in terms of this moose guy, I mean come on. The last point that he said there that really got on my nerves and that's why he's in this. If you'd take me to Dundee versus Hamilton I would walk away from it wanting to go to Concord Rangers instead. That's so English, like that's just everything they're about. They just assume that the lower down the top league in Scotland you get, the worse the games get. Like, what, you don't get poor games in the lower end of the Premier League? Was there not a 0-0 at the weekend between two teams? <laughs> it's always goals and entertainment. Don't think so. So I don't understand why... If it's no Celtic or Rangers, then English people just aren't they bothered at all. It's so frustrating because our game's brilliant and the passion that's involved, there's so much that you could document there and there's so much that you could actually get out of Scottish football and actually do it in a good, and as Jim said there, a sophisticated way, building Scottish football back up to what it could be, because it could be great. And it is great, but it could be showcased more on television or whatever. But English people just... They've got a block when it comes to it, and it's really annoying. What Miss said there about rather going to Concord Rangers than watching Dundee v Hamilton. Get in the bin, son. We're now going to go full circle and go back to my team, Dunfermline. <laughs> I've talked about the result of the weekend. I'm not going to go back over it anymore. We've got Aid United coming up. It'll be a massive game for us. It's actually the first time that I'm going to air that I'm actually quite nervous about not coming away with a win because we've been here so many times and came away with a win I can't even remember me being there when we've lost there this time Lauren Shankland Air just in general being on top form I'm really kind of worried about it we do have a really good team as well but the fact that Air are actually kind of on our level now it's a concern for me but in terms of what's happened with Dunfermline this week in particular, we've signed two young boys, one called Paul Brown. I actually rate this wee guy. I've seen him play against Kelty and he's one of those nippy wee players. He's a bit like Josh Falkham in the middle of the park. He just gets on the back of players all the time and doesn't give them a minute's rest. And that's what I love about him. He just has that endeavour and attitude that he's never going to give up. It's a class wee signing for Dunfermline and I really hope that he makes it into the first team eventually. But as I said, air up next. Stop blowing Shankland and we're halfway there. And that's it for this video guys. Cheers for watching. If you did enjoy, please give it a like because it means a massive amount to me and it actually really helps the channel. The amount of reaction that the videos have been getting recently has really helped the channel start to grow at a really good rate. So if you could smash a like on this video just because you enjoyed it. Comment down below anything about the points I've made or anything in general to do with football. And subscribe for more of this type of content. And until the next one, I'll see you then. Cheers guys. Oh, I'm just back in, I did, Betty, oh, Betty.